So what drew you to this material? Maleva Marich drew me. The fact that um, she's, to me, as, a, as I've said, um, a feminist icon that's kind of sat there in the bowels of history and she was forgotten about and chewed up and spat out. And what drew me was writing that wrong and kind of um, doing right by her and um, getting a chance to tell the story where it, it, it kind of acknowledges that that's wrong and that, um, yeah, that, that's what drew me. It was very exciting. Okay. Cool. cool. Um, what... Um, or what did you learn about like Einstein that surprised you in filming this show? Um, as I say, like some of my research was about uh, their personal letters, and uh, what I discovered was, I mean, you Google Einstein and you think of this kind of father of physics. He's this old man with white hair and some chalk, but actually, he was this really sexy, um, funny, witty, hedonistic, bohemian, like rebel guy, um, and that's what I found really kind of exciting and interesting that he's this. Also that he was fallible, you know, I think these people on pedestals and we think that they never struggled and they never had frustrations and they never, they were never told no. And I think that's what was um, so powerful about Maleva in his life. She told him, it's okay to question, it's okay to push boundaries, it's okay to um, not go along with the crowd. And, uh, yeah. Cool, thank you. Cool, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Um, um, I'm Adam Easter, I'm with NYU's Motion Picture Club. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, first of all, could you describe your character a little bit? Yeah, I play young Elsa Einstein. So she is Einstein's second wife and also first cousin. Okay. <laughs> um, what did you consider your favorite part of the filming experience? Oh, I mean, every single part of it was an absolute dream. I cashed out my karma card. Like, it, it was just like being in Prague for two months was incredible. The entire cast and crew was just incredible to work with. Um, the material itself, the writing is so great. And the story, I think, is really important. I think it's really important to be telling a story about like a truly independent thinker and one who is invested in the scientific process at this particular time. Cool. Yeah. Um, and then one last question for you. Uh, what did you learn about Einstein that surprised you during the filming of the show? He was a tremendous personality. And I think what I learned is that, yeah, his, his um, humanitarian causes and his activism politically was every bit as passionate and thoughtful as his science. Okay. Thank you. Thank yeah. You Thank you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Hi. So, um, what drew you to this material? Oh, well, a phone call that asked me if I wanted to go to Prague to make a show about Albert Einstein. The first episode was going to be directed by Ron Howard. I said, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, that's what drew me to it. Ron, Ron Howard and the subject matter. Right, okay. Yeah. So do you, have you, like, growing up, did you, like, study Einstein? Like? Not really. I mean, I knew, I knew probably what most people know about Einstein. I knew who he was. I was familiar with the iconic photographs. I, you know, it was a guy with crazy hair that came up with an equation, E equals MC squared. But, you know, once I fully immersed myself in the story, uh, starting with Walter Isaacson's biography, I realized what an incredible, multifaceted, uh, uh, giant figure he was, you know, not just as a scientist, but as a social activist, as a, someone, as a world citizen, as a, you know, someone who uh, was involved in uh, art and music and, and uh, the whole culture of Europe and later America. Thanks. Sure.